Are you tired of feeling fat, frumpy, and even old in your clothes? You go into your closet and go, oh, I don't even like most of what I have in there. I know that feeling. Well, I kind of do. It's been a long time since um, I haven't experienced that in a long while. And I want to get help you get to a place where that is no longer a part of your experience as being a woman. I'm Carol Tuttle, the creator of Dressing Your Truth. This is an online makeover system that I've actually uh, opened up to the women of the world as a free offering, a free course that's going to help you completely change your perception of your body, your appearance, and your experience with fashion. Because it's so much more than just clothes. It's about your hairstyle, your whole style, your whether you choose to wear makeup or not, or accessorize your outfit. You deserve to feel amazing, look amazing, and make it an easy daily experience to get dressed. Because guess what? You're getting dressed every day. I'm Carol Tuttle, the creator of Dressing Your Truth, and I have helped over half a million women learn their energy type and then learn my system of Dressing Your Truth, which has been completely freeing for them to be free of the shame-based references of their body because the number one thing we do as women when we wear something that we don't feel great in or think we look great in, we don't consider that it might be one, the wrong color or design lines or texture. Maybe it's the wrong fabrication for us or it's not a pattern that really supports who we are. We look at that ourselves in the mirror and go, I'm too fat. I'm getting old. It's me. It's me. I'm the reason I don't feel great and look great in the clothing I put on my body. That is the biggest lie women tell themselves. Number one lie. That's not real. And I'm going to show you some before and afters today where you're going to go, real, pick your jaw up off the floor. Yes, because in their befores, these women, you cannot see their beauty. You cannot see how attractive they are. So consider the possibility by putting the wrong movement on your body. It makes you look heavier. It ages you and it feels wrong. You have what I call a beauty six sense. You've had this from your very origins of playing dress up and what you were innately and intuitively drawn to as a child. Then you entered your teen years and you started to pick up on the trends and this is what you should wear. People give you feedback, moms, sisters, grandparents. You hear all this feedback that says, you don't look good in that color. You should never wear that. They don't know. Never use an outside source as your beauty, your beauty advisor. Use yourself. You intrinsically, based on your beauty six sense, know what's correct for you. And in my Dressing Your Truth system, I help you activate that truth, that awareness, that inner knowing of what is correct for you based on knowing your type. So that's the first step in the Dressing Your Truth system. You go learn your type. Then I teach you the correct movement to put on your body with what design lines look best on you? What patterns are you gonna look the most amazing in? What color group is yours? You're gonna learn all this. I'm dressing my truth right now. Let's start seeing these before and afters. I want you to show you the incredible difference these make. A type one woman, as you've learned about the four types, and you wanna make sure you're learning that, has a bright energy, a bright nature, a hopeful possibilities nature. You can see in this, before and after, how much this woman brought that forward. She was canceling that out in her before. Probably as many type one women do, make choices to wear black, so they're taken more seriously. And yet when their animated characteristics come forward in the way they talk and their body language and their very effervescent personality, all of a sudden it seems like an over, it's doing overs, like, whoa, you're too much. And it's like, no, you're not when you're dressing your truth. So that really brings out her type one youthful beauty. It's a, we use the beauty code word cute for type ones. And every code word is a compliment the woman receives true to her type when you're dressing your truth. So type one women are called cute. And that all translates to the same definition. You're a gorgeous woman and we can see you. And our type two before and after 
you can see again, black is this sort of default choice or darker colors. And she's just kind of putting a heaviness on her. It's not soft. It's not inviting. It seems harsh. She looks a little bit harsh in her before and the after we can see how inviting, how calming, the gentle quality in her expression that type two women have as a natural gift and tendency. She's trying to br bring too much on in her before. So whether it's using black or bolder colors, it's overstating who she is. And all of a sudden you see a jacket. That's why in her before she would most likely get a compliment like this. That's a really nice jacket. In her after, she's going to receive a compliment like this. You're so beautiful. You look amazing. So the compliment now is directed at the whole woman. This type three before and after is one of my favorite. As you can see in her effort to whiten out her hair, probably a trendy thing, you know, going platinum is a very trendy, popular choice. But we lose her. We lose her fire, her warmth. We just see a, it looks a little bit like a mugshot there where we don't see the passion this woman has. And then her after, you're like, now there's a woman who has passion and determination and she looks hot. Type two beauty code word is beautiful. So we got cute, beautiful. Now we're moving into the movement of hot, fiery and passionate energy, kind of a force in how it expresses in the world. Then our type four, again, all of these are just jaw dropping in my opinion. We see a woman who easily blends into kind of the common look for her age group. And we say, you know, she looks like a nice gal but not anything that we can reference in who she is. And a type four woman is a woman who really appreciates being respected for their sense of being their own authority. And they aren't someone that necessarily want to be really, um, they like to connect with people on their terms. They're very kind, loving people, but they have their own, their own sense of authority that they choose into what's correct for them. And you can see that in her after now we pick up on that and we go this is a woman who i have respect for who has a sense of being really in tune with herself that she knows who she is and i can i really respect that in her so each of these is phenomenal in my opinion and your after is waiting for you what are you doing that's yeah i can help you get rid of the the clock the, here here's the drill Looking in the mirror, I don't like what I see. I need to lose weight. Going into the closet, and I feel like I have nothing to wear. There's few, so few things in here I feel great in. Going into the store, not really being clear on what to buy, being influenced by others, either store clerks or friends or people you're shopping with. Going home and still feeling lost, giving up, quitting the experience. It's just too much. And then comparing yourself to a standard of beauty that's been created over the last 50 years with the supermodel industry that we've been running for five decades to say, your beauty doesn't stand a chance <laughs> because the image of beauty in the media is so blown out now and so surreal. There's not any practical reference for us as women. And then if you're over 50, good luck because they've pretty much written you off. And I am here to say that you never have to dress your age. I teach you how to dress your truth, true to who you are as a woman, so the woman you are is seen. So you feel great, look great, and you can move forward making a difference in the world. Go take my free course, dressingyourtruth.com slash free offer. First, learn which of the four types you lead with. Then, at no cost to you, you just give me your email. That's all I ask from you so I can stay in touch with you. You have access to my amazing, life-changing, you'll never be the same woman, Dressing Your Truth online course. Have you already gone through the course? Do you know your type? How has this made a difference in your life? Please share in a comment that benefits your experience and let's help more women. And share this with a friend. It's always more fun to dress your truth with someone. Go through this learning, ex this learning experience together. Enroll a couple of your female friends, whether they're your mom, your sister, a good friend, your daughter, your daughters. Let's help the next generation be free of these old perceptions, these cultural 
stereotypes that diminish our self-confidence. Let's get rid of them. So share this and thanks for liking it. And I'm excited to see you on the other side and you're after because I know it's going to be phenomenal.